you know, slowed some down as well. Yeah. Are we live now, by the way? Or like in we're, terms li of we're live, yeah. Oh, are we? <laughs> we're live, yeah. We're live, this is a good fight, this. I'm looking forward to this fight. Know both lads well. They're both the two very good lads. Mark Jeffers, Big Ben Thomas. crowd still in here actually to be honest absolutely well Mark Jeffers does sell a few tickets and he looks like he has sold a few this time and they've stayed out to watch their man I've been looking forward to this fight because um, you know Mark is a real fan friendly fighter and Big Ben Thomas loves a brawl so <laughs> we could see some fireworks here Foss is this is this one we can expect to go early um, I personally don't see it going the distance so we shall see how, how many rounds is this one over it's a 10 10 rounder, yeah. yeah. I'd be surprised if it went the distance, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Mark Jeffers, of course, training up with uh, the Jennings brothers. I was uh, Tom, ben Thomas training with Kieran Farrell. I was just going to ask you, obviously, I'm Liverpool, you're Manchester. Correct. What, what, um, what's your take from, obviously, you have a very personal relationship with the lads, yeah. just like yeah. I do. Yeah. But, what sort of things do you take from those those relationships? I think it's just really satisfying to see the lads progress, isn't it? And, and it's a fast start here from Mark Jeffers, as I thought it would be. I think you just you were uh, it, it means a lot more to you when they win the titles, even if it be a Central Area title, an English title. You, you're sort of living the journey with them, aren't you? A bit, Foss. I know you're like that with a lot of the Scouse fans, at, uh, the Scouse boxers. Sorry. At a, at a point, though, have you got to sort of take a step back. I think so, yeah. I think you do have to try because you can get a bit. You're meant to be a bit objective, aren't you? But um, you you're, the, enjoy you're the least objective person <laughs> on this planet, by the way. I try to be, but it's hard sometimes. <laughs> it could warm into a good scrap. This. Oh, I think it's guaranteed. I think it's guaranteed. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched. Exactly. Um, it's been a good show tonight, I've enjoyed it. Joe Gallagher's putting on these M22 shows and yeah, um, I have enjoyed it so far. Does it help that they're in association with Kieran? Yeah, because uh, Kieran's got a good, a, a good feeder, Jim. Good start here from Mark Jeffers. Yeah, like a lot of the opponents, I mean, big Ben Thomas here from Kieran's gym, there's a few other lads on the show. And of course, the Manchester boxing scene at the moment has is, is just Become. Mate, it's the place to be, the northwest. Well, yeah, the northwest in general, it is, isn't it? Um, obviously, Eddie Hearn, Matrium, just announced that March the seventh show That's at right. the arena. That's right. I'm looking forward to that. What do you know? I know a few things, Fals, but I don't know how, if I can say them at the minute. <laughs> I believe, I believe, Jack Cullen's coming back on that show. You, you know more than me, mate. Um, following his defeat to Felix Cash. Now, Jack didn't disgrace himself in that fight, did he? No, absolutely not. It was a really good really good fight. I thought he acquitted himself well. Akib Fiaz supposed to be on that show. Sells a lot of tickets. 
Eddie Hearn loves the tickets, I like. <laughs> what I've noticed here from Mark Jeffers is his, his, um, his jab's coming out really sharp, and um, that's something he hasn't always done from, you know, from the beginning of his career. I know they've been working on boxing as well because he, he's a natural fighter. He's, be, he's been very inactive, Mark Jeffers, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he's had a bit of time out, but um, you know, he's, he's had the top quality sparring all for his career. He's really landing with that overhand right every time he throws it, but I think he's caught, you know. Yeah, he, he is. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a, a, I don't like the look one. of that cut, you know. It's a nasty one. It's running right into the. I did not. Right I, I only the saw right a bit eye. flash of it. I did not like the look of that. It's running right into the right eye. Right, and right on the right on the corner. We'll see how the referee the Mark Lyson rules that. Will he rule it a clash of heads or? Head. So it has been ruled a clash of heads. Both are cut. Both are cut. Both, yeah, both are cut. Mark said ben what? Thomas's was a punch, and Mark Jeffers was a clash of heads. So that means it does need to go four completed rounds, uh, unless it's going. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, a technical draw. Technical, yeah. I hate technical see, draws. I know. There was one the other day with Tom Fazza Farrell and um, Sean Masha Dodd. Wasn't the other day, like it was about uh, two months ago, uh, but you yeah. know. They all blend into one, mate, when you when you got a child like I am. That's not a that's not a good cut, you know. That's not it's a not. good cut. No cut's good. Well that's a, a terrible one. Let's see how Mark responds. Mark might think, you know what, I'm just gonna Yeah, he has. He's, he's probably just thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna throw with him. He believes in his power. The boys believe in his power. We were we were discussing this one off off air earlier on. Me and a couple of the board inspectors, and even even you were even you when you put when you first came in, yeah. and um, and we all said it'd be a good scrap, and yeah, th yeah. that's how it's looking. Well, you got two lads that like to fight, and you're always going to get something good. Then they're not going to feel each other out too much. Ben Thomas is a throwback himself in his, in his mentality and attitude. He loves a fight. You know, he's a, he's a tough lad. He had a good amateur career, actually. Um, did, did Ben. Uh, he's no mug. Um, he has been knocked out, but that was in a fight against Ben Douglas. I, believe. I mean, you put me on the spot here because I didn't know I was commentating. Ben Douglas, I believe it was. And um, he was winning the fight until the last 30 seconds, I think. When will, when will we see Mark Jeffers take that step to the to the to the bigger shows? I, I think this is I think it's going to be this, this once he gets the central area title under his belt. Uh, it, obviously, he's got a win tonight. Uh, then we'll see him stepping up. Yeah. But I've always say I, I've seen some of the best fights I've ever seen in the small halls. Listen, the best fight I've seen live. Uh, listen, I've covered I've covered this sport for ten years. Right, covered this ball for 10 years. The best fight I've seen live was a four-rounder at the Olympia in Liverpool on a Dave Caldwell show when Sean Dodd boxed Lee Connolly. I didn't see the fight myself, but I know about the fight. It was a cracker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen some brilliant fights, small old shows. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. I'm just trying to wrap my brains now. Diego Costa, Greg O'Neill comes to, to mind. Diego Costa versus um, Boris Crichton. That was a good fight. Yeah, that was, a, the contender that was VIP an unbelievable fight. Turn around. Samai tonight. Samai Dejan Juma. It yeah. was a really good fight. Really enjoyed that fight. I'm just trying to think of um, others that I've seen. Seen some crackers at the Oak Hall. Are, are, we, are we talking strictly small hall? Yeah, let's talk small hall. Keep it in the theme of tonight. Um... I've seen a couple of good ones on Steve Wood shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Liam Taylor versus Tyrone Nurse. That was a yeah. good one. Was that for the British title? Or? It was the British title, yeah. But it was a small old show, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. And going back to... Uh, I've just seen your message now saying, can you jump on the comms with me? And you sent that 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, going back to Ben Thomas... Yes. Aki, um, that that defeat 
was yeah. against uh, was against Ben Douglas. Yep, yeah. so I was right. Yeah, and, and I he think he got knocked out in the last round, if I remember correctly. He got knocked out in the last round. He could have boxed to a victory, but he decided he wasn't he wasn't going to do that. <laughs> he decided <laughs> he was going to get stopped. Instead. He decided he was going to go for it, all guns blazing. I remember it well, but that's I like guys like that. You know, these you know, that's why I liked the uh, Julio Cesar Chavez's. You know. That my sort of kettle of fish, the Manny Pacquiao's, Antonio Margarito's, the Cotto's. Now Ben Thomas has a record of two, one, and three. Yes. Was last in action in Glasgow. Uh huh. Have you got some? Oh, you've got some statistics up there. You come prepared for this. At the Crown Plaza in Glasgow, when he Ooh. when he took on Ian O'Connor and got a draw over four. He must, oh, yeah, be, he's, he must he's be the only fella to have three draws over four rounds. <laughs> I think I think you might be right there, yeah. He's uh, he, he got out of the way of that right hand there nicely, uh, did Ben. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crowd are rowdy. Surely are in the house. <laughs> Ten and out, two stoppages for Mark Jeffers. Yeah, and you know what? Th that stoppage that stoppage count doesn't um, do Mark's punching power justice. He's only uh, oh, one. good body work from, from Mark only, and a good right uppercut there, but Ben Thomas has got a good chin. He's only 21, he's only a baby. Yeah, he's only a baby. But I'm t and what I mean is, you know, the sort of calibre he's been sparring at from a very young age, from a, from a kid, basically. The likes of the Jack Armfields, the Scott Fitzgeralds, um, the oh, Matthew Halls. He's, he's really had a good um, sparring tutelage, let's say. He only had one fight last year, though, and is that is that a bit of a concern? The 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 inactivity. I don't think so. When you're 21, Foz, to be honest, I think you got. Oh, I don't know whether it was down to issue uh, an issue with an injury or something, but um, I think when you're 21, there's no immediate rush. You might as well get all the little niggles out of the way, get them seen to properly. Um, it would be a it would be a problem if he was a bit older, but I, I don't know. I don't think it would affect a 21 year old. Especially now that boxes nutrition so good, um, you know they get they age slower, don't they, in boxing terms? Mm, yeah. Because because they're putting the right things into the body. Exactly. Oh, and he's putting that, the right things into that right hand. But Ben Thomas showing uh, he's not here to make up the numbers. He's not just going to fold. You've got to put this man away. I'm just looking down Mark Jeff Mark Jeffers' record, Aki. He boxed a guy in May of 2018 called Piotr Filatov. Yes. Do you he that was, was in Bolton. I was there. Do you reckon he was a fisherman? Oh wow! These jokes. Sorry to all the viewers um, who have to put up with this. <laughs> I apologise for this man on my left. Okay, this is what happens when Scousers come to Manchester. Well, was he a fisherman or not? Actually, come to think of it, I think he was. Genuinely. Mates with that Captain Cod. <laughs> was it Uncle... What was his name? Captain Cod. What was his name? The guy who does the uh, bird's eye fish fingers. I think that is Captain Cod, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, thought, I thought he was just Uncle Bird's eye, to be honest. <laughs> well, I hope they're cutting this out. I hope they're cutting these bits out. Have I just invented a fella? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Beard's like. Where, where, where's this video? Where are these videos going then? On the M22 Promotions YouTube channel. Ah, great. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, like going back to the show tonight. Then, um, you know, I've been really impressed with the turnout for yep. a start. The yep. atmosphere. You know, the fact the crowd's been living every fight, especially the Sam Hyde fight. And, and uh, to, uh, to be honest, I think Joe's done a really good job with the show. Really, he had good a couple job. of pullouts. He had to, you know, readjust a few things. So, Joe, if you watch this, he's done a good job. Both corners. I've done really good jobs on those. On cuts, the cuts, by the yeah, way. absolutely, they have. Because we're going now into round four. I yep. want to say. I'm just talking, I'm taking zero notice, I'm just talking. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. 
It's the viewers I feel sorry for. We've done we've done a few commentary gigs together, us two, haven't we? <laughs> I thought the last one would be the last, but well, <laughs> well, let's not go there, eh? <laughs> Where was it? Last one I commentated with you was in a um, was it Green Bank in Liverpool? Yes, Everton Red Triangle and Black Flash Show. Yeah. Yeah. They've got five five dates announced for this year. Absolutely, yeah. They're steaming ahead. Is there a danger of stagnation on those shows, though? In t in terms of the 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 lack of um, the lack of TV and big exposure. Oh, possibly, I suppose. You've got to learn your trade. I mean, look at these two guys at the minute. They're applying. They're learning the trade. You know. Mark Jeffers is planting some great body shots. You know, he's, he's obviously been working on them in the gym. They get to, they get to apply the trade, don't they? Um, yeah, at some stage, you've got to move on to the next level. Yeah. Do you understand what... I, I, didn't I know mean what you're saying, because they've got the same, the same fighters. No, 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 I know what you mean. They've got the same fighters on, this, on, on the, uh, the bills. And, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but I think a lot of these, the feeders, they, they serve a real good purpose yeah. to, you know, where the big promoters pick them up. Oh, and he's gone down there. Right hook over the top there from Mark Jeffers. And I think he he's could, hurt Ben Thomas he there. Could, he could struggle to get up here, I Ben Thomas. I think he's caught him in one, a very awkward spot. And Mark Jeffers is a good finisher. I told you about his power earlier. And that's a good body shot. Mark Jeffers is smelling blood here. Look at, look at him. And I think Kieran's going to throw the towel in. And he has. Kieran has thrown the towel in. That's probably the right decision. Um, I told you about his punch power force, didn't I? I told you I didn't think it was going to go the distance. Yeah. Mark Jeffers, this guy, don't look at his knockout record. The guy can punch with both hands, I'm telling you. And Ben Thomas has got a good chin, so that's a statement to me. Um, and the way he done it and the way he finished him, actually, he went, instead of going to the head, boom, left hook to the body. It's a big, st it's a big statement, and I think maybe now we need to see, we, we've talked about the inactivity, we need to see the opposite. We yeah. need to see activity. Yeah. We need to see Mark Jeffers out another three and four times this year. We need to give him that opportunity in front of the bright lights to keep his eye in and to be able to push through those super middleweight rankings and eventually pick himself up a big title shot. I agree, mate. Because we're at a point now with Mark Jeffers where, yeah, okay, he's only 21. We've discussed the age. However, at 21... He's got time on his side. Yes, there's no rush. Yeah. However, when you've got when you've got a fighter that's as ready as Mark Jeffers is, why hold him back? I think we're going to see it now, Foz. I think we're going to see him going to the next level. And, and I've always thought I've always thought Mark Jeffers has the talent. He's just proved exactly what I was talking about there. And um, watch out for Mark Jeffers because if he doesn't win at least a British, I'll be very surprised. That cut. The cut, cut is terrible. Even though it's stopped, <laughs> that cut is naughty. <laughs> it is naughty. It is. It's a naughty cut. Right, speaking of naughty, Foss, um, it's been nice speaking to you, but I'm going to go off and try and get a naughty interview with some of these boys. Go on. Been Thanks, a pleasure. Jackie. Thank you very much. No problem. Take care. And I want some of the uh, money that Joe's paying you. Cheers. I wish, my mate. <laughs> uh, right. Enough of me. Thanks to all my co-coms, Steve Bunce, Aki Kareem, Stephen Smith, and Liam Smith for their jobs with me today. We've had a conclusion to the third M22 Promotions card promoted by Joe Gallagher in association with Kieran Farrell as Mark Jeffers stops Ben Thomas to win the vacant Central Area Super Middleweight title. And on to the next one. Thank you very much. <laughs>